If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to Ringside Collectibles Wrestling Figures.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Bro! What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our WWE Elite Figure Reviews, and today we have a brand new 2-in-1 review on the brand new WWE Elite Series 78 Matt Riddle and our truth figures. Now, both of these are looking great. We literally just took a shot at these, like, the other day, right? It was part of San Diego Comic-Con reveals. They revealed Elite Series 78, and now they're here. I mean, that was pretty damn fast. I'm very hyped to get into the review on both of these guys. I think uh, both of them look really good in packaging. There's definitely no shortage of issues with these figures, which we'll dive into, but I do not want to fully judge these guys until I have them in hand and we crack them out of the packaging, pose them around a little bit, see what they're all about. But I'm super excited to be back with some reviews of brand new WWE Elites, guys. So let's go ahead and dive in. Front viewing window, you got our truth with our first time in the line 24-7 championship. We have Matt Riddle with a beautiful entrance coat on the side of the packaging, guys. We also have an image of both men here. Not so happy here, super happy here. Here. Spinning into the back, you do get some little bio read. If you want to read it, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave. Other side, you get some more images here. Kind of happy here. Still not so happy here. And then as we spin around the front again, you will see that actually, they're both happy this time. But that pretty much does it for your in-package shots, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into WWE Elite Series 78, R-Truth, and Matthew Riddle. Bro... Alright guys, so here we have the 24-7 champion and the original bro out of their packaging, looking pretty good. I'm actually super surprised by some things with these figures in hand for the first time, posing them around a little bit here, as I always do with my reviews, and I'm actually pretty shocked about some of this ish, which we will get into, of course. But you guys know how the 2-in-1 figure reviews work. We're going to cover our truth accessories and then our truth, do some comparisons, then we're going to run it back, take a closer look at the original bro's accessories, and then dive into the original bro himself. So that being said guys let's go ahead and dive into our truths accessories so for our truth accessories guys you really don't get a lot but you do get a first time in the line championship right the 24 7 championship i remember when they unveiled this in real life mick foley came out with that bag i posted about it i even made a video about it and to this day, probably the ugliest title design in WWE. It's just not appealing, you know? I love the concept of it, sort of a hardcore, you know, you know, like a modern hardcore championship. Kind of wacky, kind of comedic, kind of comedic. I mean, it's the comedic championship, right? I think R-Truth is absolutely fantastic in the role. I think he plays the role perfectly, given that's why he's like a 50-time, 24-7 champion. But as a figure belt, I think that they kind of did it wrong, where they have went with uh, a dull plastic, like like the dull type of look. You guys know how we have the shiny championships. And then we have the dull looking championships. This is a dull championship. Somebody just sent me a message. It was not your phone, I promise. But they went with a dull championship look. I think the title's more of a shiny though. I think they would have done a lot better job had they changed it to a shiny championship. And I actually have a custom title that I want to compare it to here. You guys can see here I have a custom 24-7 championship. And you guys can see the difference. This has that shiny look to it. Metal plates. This has more of a dull plasticky to it. And I don't I don't know if the 24-7 is supposed to be green or silver, but nonetheless, the new one definitely looks better from a cleanliness standpoint. It just looks a lot better. It looks a lot cleaner, but this was a nice placeholder, but now I have the official thing. I'll probably end up painting this or putting some shiny gloss over it or something, trying to change it up a little bit, but that is the 24-7 championship. It looks like the title, but yeah, just not a great title design. Kind of, I don't know, they, they could have definitely done something more creative and probably a better name for it, but it is what it is. And then, of course, he does come with interchangeable hands. He has your red Mysterio glove hands, sort of. He has a right gloved hand, which is pretty much the same exact mold that we got with Rey Mysterio. In the white glove right here, it does have a skin tone peg. And then in the other hand, you have the opposite uh, little grabby hand, which is a bare hand because R-Truth only wears one glove. And out of the packaging, he does come with mic holding hands. So you have your skin tone, you know, uh, taped fingers, mic holding hand. 
hand and then on the other side you do get a white glove that is a mic holding hand which has some really good sculpt on it I don't know if that's a first time deal that they're doing there but that looks pretty damn good to me Brad but that pretty much does it for your R-Truth accessories guys so with that being said let's dive into the 24-7 champion himself all right guys so diving into R-Truth you guys can see here by the head sculpt I mean this is a beautiful head sculpt it looks just like R-Truth I'm loving it I think we have seen this before on a few basic figures here but you guys can see in this head sculpt you get I mean you get his piercings you get the beautiful R-Truth smile you get the headband you get the man bun you got the dreads here with the different colors I will say it does look a bit odd going from jet black into that you know lightish brown you know orangish color I really wish there would have been some sort of fade in there or something like that I think that would have looked a little bit better maybe coming from this man bun but it does look good maybe like some dry brushing of black of that would make that look good but overall really good head sculpt I really like it I think it looks just like our truth and everything like that now going into the torso this is something that a lot of people find controversial here now uh, he has used this torso before they've used this torso for our truth before they've switched between two different torsos now this is probably not my favorite one it's kind of in the same boat as the velveteen dream but for some reason I don't feel as strongly about the our truth one as I do about the velveteen dream I know velveteen dream I feel like the uh, he may be a little bit taller than our truth our truth may weigh a little bit more they may be around the same weight but for some reason I don't like I'm not as upset about this torso for our truth as I am for Velveteen Dream I think Velveteen Dream just looks so odd with that massive torso considering how lean he is and how kind of his torso is like super lean and narrow and I feel like our truth has a better chest and shoulders and traps I don't know man I, I don't know we'll, we'll compare them in the comparison part of the video you guys can let me know what you think but I think the Shelton torso would have been much better of course I would switch it but you wouldn't get the tattoos on there because this man's covered in tattoos you got his cross tattoo all of the stuff on his traps you also have the r here you got all his tribal work truth across his stomach and that's something you would miss out on if you did torso swap it but into the arms he's used these arms before same jacked r-truth arms now it is an action figure so he's probably going to be a little bit over exaggerated going down to the crotch we've seen this crotch piece before it's like your regular jean crotch i think we've even seen it on r-truth figures before now this is something new we have never seen this shorts mold here you guys can see they actually did get the details the sculpted parts of the shorts right here in a jet black color kind of similar to our John Cena figures which we've seen like the old John Cena's with the calf showing you got your black shoes which I know these ankles are going to get loose and that's going to be really upsetting he's going to do nose dives off the shelf but something that is super surprising to me is that this guy is on ball joints yes you heard that correctly guys this guy is on ball joints which is super duper weird for me I did not expect to see that whatsoever so that is really wicked to see with this R-Truth. I did not expect that one bit, but he's on ball joints, so you guys can expect to get r way better articulation out of this guy than, you know, typical John Cena's. Even Elite Series 76 John Cena, I guess, for, you know, the, the different shorts mold, the little details they've sculpted on here, that has, uh, they had to make a new leg mold, and they decided to give us uh, ball joints, which I would really appreciate to see with the rest of our John Cena's featuring these long shorts moving in, into the future. But they probably won't because they'll say that this is a different sculpt, which it is, but I would like to see it. But that pretty much does it for your R-Truth figure, guys. So with that being said, let's get into some R-Truth Elite Figure Comparisons. So for your R-Truth Elite figure comparisons, guys, you can see here we have every R-Truth Elite, I'm pretty sure. I think this is the first one. This is the second one. It could be vice versa. This might be the first one. This may be the second one. I am not completely up to date on my R-Truth Elite figure series for some reason. I feel like every other figure I can name the series except for the R-Truths. So I guess they kind of all run together. But you guys can see this one does have all of his new tattoos. None of the other ones feature his other tattoos. Now, this is what I was saying. In the past, they used to use this uh, Macho Man torso, if you well, you guys can see here, here's the difference between the Macho Man torso and the more Jack Triple H style or John Cena torso. And I think I like this one better. It's just, it represents a better lean, uh, you know, R-Truth. I think it would have fit the figure a lot better. Now, I guess if I really wanted to, I could torso switch one with an older R-Truth with the Macho Man torso. But if I did that, again, I would mess out on some tattoo detail. Not a ton, you know, but I love the true tattoo across his stomach. I like the tribal tats he's got going on. And so that, for that reason, 
reason I do not want to switch it out. However, you know, it, it looks pretty good. And if I wanted to, maybe I could pop off the necklace, put the necklace on there. We, we have some fix-up ideas. There's some things that you can do with this guy. But overall, this is your R-Truth Elite figure comparisons. I think this is outstanding head sculpt, man. This is definitely the best head sculpt to date. Not even close. This is standalone, the best R-Truth figure to date. And uh, if you guys are thinking about picking up this one, I think these are kind of hard to come by. So this one is a perfect pickup and it replaces perfectly. This is the best R-Truth by far. You get the 24-7 title. It's a standalone beast. With that being said, guys, let's get into the original bros accessories. So for Matt Riddle's accessories, guys, you get a lot more than you get with R-Truth. I mean, we got cloth goodies, we got slides, we got a headband, we got interchangeable hands. You got a lot of stuff going on. Let's go ahead and dive into the headband. You guys already kind of saw what it looked like on the figure, which we'll probably see another image of it. But you guys can see it's got like this chevron pattern going on. That's what that little pattern's called, I'm pretty sure. It's basically like these light gold designs going all the way around. You know, it fits on the figure solid. When I think of Matt Riddle, I don't necessarily think of him having a headband. So I don't think this was necessarily necessarily needed to be included, but I don't know. I just don't think about him having a headband, but you do get a headband. You know, if you want to put it on somebody else, that's cool too. When I think of R-Truth, I think of a headband, which is kind of weird, but there is a headband that comes with your Matt Riddle. You also get interchangeable hands. You have your little throne sitting hands, as I like to call them, or, or praying hands, or I like to call them throne sitting hands. You know, if you're sitting on a throne like an evil villain, you'd have, you know, hands on each side of the throne like that. So you get those. Out of the packaging, he does come with hang loose hands on the figure, but I did take those off and put the mic holding hands on the figure itself. So out of the packaging, you do get the hang loose hands, which we get with Samoa Joe. We get these with Roman Reigns. We have never had them in this skin tone though. So this is very nice to see with Matt Riddle. I think it's perfect fit and for his entrance. You know, bro, 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 as he's making his way to the or whatever the hell. So there you go with that. And then of course you have to have his signature Nike slides. Now obviously they're not going to pay Nike that trademark check or whatever the hell you want to say but they do look like Nike slides. They have the little, there's like a zipper pouch right here and the cushioning right here. I, growing up as an athlete bro, I just said bro but I wasn't even trying to be like Matt Riddle. Just, just calling you guys bro in general. I used to wear Nike slides to school man. Like I did not want to wear regular shoes unless you know I was going to PE or something. I'd put on some shoes. I'd, I'd go to the basketball locker room. We had our own locker room with our own signature lockers. And I would get my basketball shoes out to, you know, compete and stuff like that. But if I'm going to class or something, bro, I'm rocking the Nike slides. Like, I would rock Nike slides. You know, you could just slide them off. You just felt way more comfortable walking around with them. And they have great details on them. I think the sculpt is really nice on these. And we are going to put these on the figure right now because I want to see how they look on the figure. So, sliding the foot inside the slide here. That is a really good fit, man. That is a really signature fit. I think they look good on the figure too. That is that is pretty good stuff right there. Let's go ahead and put both on. Yeah man, that makes me happy. That makes me really happy right there. I'll probably customize it. I'll probably get some Nike graphics or something to put on there to make them more accurate, but they look really good on the figure. I like the way they look right there. But not only do we get the white Nike slides with no logos, you also get the original bro Matt Riddle entrance jacket. Now this is a beautiful piece, man. When they do stuff like this, you got the Elite 63 Shinsuke Nakamura jacket that comes to mind. You know, the Elite 70 Dolph Ziggler jacket, stuff like that. This is a beautiful piece. You got this flat white gold and black trim going on. M. Riddle, original bro logo, gold stripes, original bro on the back. It feels really good in the hand. The figure can still articulate while wearing it. Now, one thing I will say, if you're going to take this off of the figure out of the packaging, be sure to remove your hang loose hands first, because if you try to pull it off, it will get stuck on the fingers and it could tear like this stuff can and tear so definitely be careful remove these from the figure then remove the jacket then put the uh interchangeable hands back on that way you don't tear it but this is very nice it also has velcro on the front you get a little gold zipper there or a little line and this is good stuff man we need we need more cloth goodies like this this is very excellent but that pretty much does it for your matt riddle accessories guys so with, with that being good let's dive into matt riddle himself all right guys so taking a closer look at matt riddle himself we will start off with this head sculpt now i don't know about you guys but i I don't know. It's like a, I like the head sculpt. I think it does favor Matt Riddle, but I'm not sure if I like the original one. See what I did there? I don't know if I like the original head sculpt on the basic figure that we got or if I like this one better. I feel like the smirk or the smile, that crooked smile, looks a little bit better. We will compare it in the next portion of the video, but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I low-key also wish they would have given him ears. You know, the hair covers it up, so it's not that big of a deal, but I think I would have liked to seen ears on this guy. Now, the rest of the figure is 
is just odd, man. There's so many weird things that they did here, and I was really worried they were going to do this when we uh, knew we were getting a Matt Riddle. I was really upset because I figured they would just give us a Kerry Von Erich body. It's either Kevin or Kerry. I can't remember which one, but it's the full-length jacked body mold that we have seen before with a Kerry or Kevin Von Erich. I'm just going to say Von Erich body, but it is the uh, the Von Erich torso. It's the Von Erich thighs, and I'm pretty sure this is the exact same Von Erich lower legs and all, like uh, that cankle looking full body mold, you know, it's kind of hard to, to see where the, you know, the calf goes down into the ankle, and I just don't understand some of the proportion sizes on this figure, like standing back, it doesn't look that bad, I'll tell you guys what I would have preferred as far as parts choices go, but like, why give him these super duper skinny arms and this jack torso with these jack thighs and these jacked legs, I don't know, I just feel like the proportions should definitely be better, the arms definitely should be bigger, I'm definitely going to be switching these out, whether it's just, you know, regular Seth Rollins style arms, which are a little bit better. I guess they wanted more muscular or toned arms, but these are the arms that have, like that should be on our Dolph Ziggler's, and the Dolph Ziggler ones are like super duper jack. At least the standard ones that come with Mattel Elise. His Elite 70 arms, the, the arms they always use on Dolph Ziggler figures, except for his earlier figures, were super jack. And then here they do the complete opposite and give him kind of skinny arms. He does have his tattoo right there, if you guys were wondering. I know we kind of just kind of went off our own tangent. Now, if you guys want to see the, the rest of the figure you do get the bro logo on the front here original bro around the edge there the white and gold the perfect attire i love this attire so i think they picked the perfect attire for it and he also has a painted on anklet here which he always wears to the ring but another problem i have with the figure is just i feel like this paint goes down too far i don't feel like his shorts are this long i feel like you could have cut it off maybe halfway here and i wouldn't have even been upset if they cut it off all the way up here where the thigh cut is but they did drag that down i was worried about that in the render image and it came to fruition it is a little bit longer than my liking not a deal breaker by any means but it is something to mention and i don't know I, I just i don't know let's zoom out here so you guys can get a full body look at it because i want you guys to see exactly what you're getting when you get this figure now standing up it really doesn't even look that bad and i'm probably just overplaying it a lot see like standing right there i don't think the figure looks that bad and i'm probably overplaying it but i'm just saying there are just some definite things about this figure i would change if given an opportunity but i really do like the figure a lot it feels good in the hand he does does not have ball joints if you guys were wondering but like his articulation if you guys were wondering here he can do you know he can do the jump knee here he does get a lower calf rotation which I do enjoy and uh, these feet the foot mold is kind of hard to push down he does have like a small ankle pivot not like anything crazy but the ankle pivot is there maybe you just got to break that in a little bit but it is there and I don't know man I mean the articulation is very good on it it feels good in the hand and everything I just think there's some parts choices that I would genuinely change if given the opportunity and the thighs don't look that jack standing back and he actually does have pretty big thighs he even posted an instagram picture about it with that being said guys let's dive into some matt riddle elite figure comparisons so for your matt riddle elite figure comparisons guys you can see here you have my custom elite matt riddle on the right and then you have the original bro on the left see what i did there again but you guys can see here i do think that this likeness is better i think that the likeness on this one is cooler but if you want to do a fix up you could switch these in and out let's get a zoom in shot so you guys can see the difference in the head sculpts it even looks like this head sculpt over on the right side is a little bit bigger as well now this is the torso that i would have used i think this is the torso i would have went with i would have went with the seth rollins torso i just like this better because matt riddle's torso is a little bit more square he has like a square you know uh body mold like his like his torso and his abs and his his core it's just more square which i get a better look of from here i think this looks more like his core and then you guys can see here i did put the seth rollins arms on my custom which i think are bigger they look better on the figure itself and on these legs these are rick flair legs which are probably a little bit too small but i feel like these may be a little bit too jacked maybe some dolph ziggler legs would have been the perfect mold for them which is a happy medium between the two they're not as cut up like this but they are they have bigger mass and i also want to compare the thickness of these calves to the original figure so if you guys are thinking about fixing up your lower legs with a ufc jacks figure here is the difference right there not a huge difference but it definitely does you know give it a skinnier leg mold and the ankles and stuff like that and it's a pretty significant foot difference so you guys can see the foot size difference you guys can see the elite is much bigger like the feet are much
much bigger on the actual Elite compared to the Custom. So that's kind of weird. But overall, I really do not know if I would recommend switching out the lower legs. I feel like you get a better stance, like the figure can stand better over here. But you guys can let me know what you think of it down in the comment section below. Also, these guys are supposed to be the same height, so you guys can see my Custom stance a little bit taller. Our truth and Matt Riddle are supposedly the same height. So is that true for the figures? Pretty much, uh, yeah, they actually are the same height. Matt Riddle may be a little bit taller. But overall, I like it, man. I like it. Despite me griping, for some reason, I like it. But that pretty much does it for my 2-in-1 Elite Series 78 review on the Elite 78 R-Truth and Matt Riddle. Guys, overall, really enjoy both figures. Again, uh, getting into the Matt Riddle, you know, when I first saw images of it and I got to see the Von Erich body mold and, you know, the cankle issue and the torso and the legs and the, and the trunks, you know, how long they are, I still think the figure is damn good. It's kind of weird. It's one of those things where... I guess it's like a love-hate relationship. It's like, it's so damn good, but at the same time, it's like, damn, I wish they would have did some different things about it. Damn, I wish they would have changed out some of these parts. But overall, I think it is a must-cop. I think both are a must-cop if you want to add to your collections. You know, Matt Riddle is probably one of my favorite talents on SmackDown now that he's made his way to the main roster. I just love his intensity in the ring. I love guys that bring it in the ring, man. They go super hard. They kind of blend the reality, you know, the realism and the entertainment aspect. I think that Matt Riddle does a really good job of that, and that is why he is one of my favorites, and our truth is just he's probably the best part of Raw, right? I mean, he's the only part that you don't want to just scratch your eyes out when you're watching Monday Night Raw, but both figures do an excellent job, man. I think this is a great update for our R-Truth. First time Elite Matt Riddle is great. Can't wait for the next one. I doubt we'll ever get a different body mold. This is definitely going to be the body mold that they use going forward, so that is what it is as well. If you guys would like to pick up either of these figures, you can do so at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MD toys to save yourselves 10 percent number one online wrestling figure retailer go over there save some money using promo code md toys i recommend both of these i think they are they should be sought after i think you should track these down you find them at retail go ahead and buy them overall good stuff i'm actually very curious to see where these guys rank when we actually rank the full set from top to bottom but that is going to do it for the review guys thank you guys so very much for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video Thank you, bro.